Sponsored by Battle Tribe. For awesome stickers, patches, t-shirts, art, and more, check out our Etsy store, Battle Tribe. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to do a hobby update on uh, a bunch of stuff. So my Sasha Trooper collection, freaking dusting them off. I actually got to paint a bunch of it and fix some of it and get it all rocking and rolling but i just wanted to do a layout and see what i had because i'm ready to roll so with um the recent game hell divers 2 this the interest has been sparked with starship troopers and i see a lot of different guys little wars tv and a couple other places have been doing six millimeter rules so i'm like man i am so glad i didn't sell any of this stuff so a little history this game came out in 2005 so i was actually getting i was actually in iraq doing my second tour and I was so stoked because I'm a huge fan of the 1997 movie and the, the cartoon that was out at the time and the book and everything like that. Just a big fan of the whole. So I was gobbling up everything and waiting for it to come out. And my friends at the uh, the war store actually sent me a ton of it. And actually the company reached out to me and sent me some uh, a box set and a bunch of miniatures. So shout out uh, Matt Matthew Sprange. He worked at Mongoose Publishing. He sent me a ton of free stuff. And I actually have a bunch of photos, but I was playing Sasha Troopers on a ping pong table in our patrol base in the middle of Samar, Iraq at 05. But that was my little tabletop uh, fun. So, but um, really cool. Rules are really freaking wild. I One of my favorite games designers, Andy Chambers from Games Workshop, they hired him to do this set of rules. Really cool. Everything was very, like, had a simple tactical... You know, they have close combat dice. You just roll. If you're within range or you're close combat, you roll the dice. You have to hit a score. If you hit the hit score, they can take damage. And if you roll the kill score, they go, oh, the unit's outright killed or you do multiple wounds. So the game was really cool. And there was also a reaction system. So if you did um, an action within, I think, 10 inches of a unit, the unit would get a free reaction. So, like, if a bug charged up on them. Um, an MI trooper, he could use his jump pack if he's a cap trooper, jump away, or he could return fire with his Marita. When if a mobile infantry guy got within range of a bug, the bug would charge him. So really cool, man. Really cool game. So the game kept expanding and coming out with they had army books, they had uh skinnies and different stuff, but they end up changing the rules. They started coming up with this thing called Battlefield Evolution. They even simplified it even more. I actually got the test rules, but wasn't really a fan. I think that the the core game was where it was at. Even some of the crazier units they had later on, I think, kind of changed it. They did exosuits and all types of stuff. But um, the base core game was kind of like where it was at for me. But um, I'll just do a quick rundown of all the different stuff. So some of this stuff is not even painted. I got to finish it. But I'll start with the MI. So this guy, Papa, um, Papa Skills. He did 3D models of all different types of MI, so I got to paint these. These like the, these are considered the light infantry because in the game, they covered every aspect of the franchise from the cartoons, the books, the movies. So you had light infantry from the movies. You had the um, power armor guys from the books. You had exosuits from the, the cartoon. So, but these are 3D printed. Some of the casualties and stuff, I got to paint them. These are the metal Light Infantry Mongoose Publishing came out with really cool figures. They're a little more beefier. The gun doesn't look like the one from the movie, though. It looks more like the cartoon Marita, where these 3D printed ones, they're like dead on with the movie. You got Sergeant Zim back there. So then I did some Light Infantry. These are, I think, War Games Atlantic did some sci fi infantry. So I just made a whole unit of these guys, kind of Colonial Marine, stand in light troopers. And then these were the the power armor troopers from the roughneck cartoon so that was like the base that came in the starter set so these were really cool they actually had clear visors some of the guys actually have them on there so the clear visor it kind of like fogged up a little bit actually i got one guy right here so it's hard to see the face in there so i left them off a lot of the guys but it was it was a cool idea just 
just wasn't for me on everything. So some of my guys have it. Yeah, yeah. Some of the some of the troopers do. Some of the squads. Like these were my <clears throat> and these are all it's great too, is the all the sand on the bases is for my rack from two thousand five. It's pretty cool. So and like some of the guys I have named after people, Lieutenant Rendar, Lieutenant Mason, uh, Sergeant Sweeney. I had like <clears throat> different guys I actually served with. I named put names under their bases. And you could see different guys so some of these guys are second hand my friend chris hooked me up with so he's got in like a gray color scheme got sniper rifles all different so on the back you got these pathfinders these guys are kind of cool i did these they had like these tri siphon filter goggles pretty freaking cool and then i got some more veterans that aren't painted i got some recon guys i like cut the bottom of their masks off to make them look like they're light so and then for the suits, they had different marauder suits. So these were the Grizzlies. So I got three of those. I put kill markings on them. And they have clear canopies, glasses with um, pilots in them and stuff. Then they had the chicken hawks. These are all from the cartoon. So I had a squad of three of them. And in the game too, you could do a whole company of just exosuits and stuff. Really cool. My friend Chris, that's his, his chicken hawks. Really cool. So, and those are all from the cartoon. You can arm them different ways and stuff. But like, yo, so like a 2,000 point army could be just five suits. That's the amount of firepower these things had. Pretty nasty. The chicken hawks are pretty nasty. These guys are pretty wild too. So, and the game, had, it was like kind of true scale. So like, this is a minigun. You see how tiny it is? Where, you know, Games Workshop miniature should have been like really big. So you got that. He's got some neo neo dogs, which were like genetically enhanced dogs to help sniff out bug holes. And you got your your MI military intelligence, the psychic guys. You got weapons. I actually so in the game, bugs actually tunnel. So you get tunnel markers, and the bugs will tunnel on the table, and you can actually attack the tunnel markers and try to bury them, and then they can open up, and bugs can deploy out of these holes. So you can see I made a bunch of them. So bug holes are pretty pretty cool in the game. I think I made some objectives. Here's a dead guy ripped in half in a medic trying to trying to save him. This is actually based on the uh, some artwork in the role playing game. So then, as for bugs, man, I had tons of bugs. So this is actually a um, sprain bug from um, Mongoose Publishing. It's pretty cool, man. So I put him together. He's metal. He has some chariot bugs under him. And then this is um, Micro Machines. I made a bug, so I, I bought it and I wanted to paint it. I just never got around to it. Give it some like an ink. You can tell it's like a toy, but I was like, like I used some rubber cockroaches as uh, <laughs> bugs. And then you go for the rest of the bugs. So warriors, man, so many warriors. So I have like, I think a hundred, over a hundred warriors and I painted them and there's like subtle conversions on them, different mouths, I made them wide open. I love that color scheme. The black with the stripes on it, really freaking cool. So, and I had some dead bugs. I made some dead bug piles. Can't have those. They got a Viking dropship. That's actually the uh, Micro Machines Galoob one. So I picked it up, repainted it, weathered it up. Really cool. Because in the game, there's actually stats for that. That thing can come flying and drop guys off. So back to the bugs. Got old warrior bugs. I have some warrior bugs I made that are battle damage. They're wounded and stuff. And you got the hopper bugs. They're bugs that fly. They're really cool, but you could fly them in behind cover, react, and they can fly fly out of cover, kill kill a trooper, and freaking fly back. So I'm forgetting what I have. I got six, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, I believe. Yep. So then we got three tankers. These are the they come out when they burrow out. They come out and they have a flamethrower attack where they melt mobile infantry troopers. Really freaking cool. So I got three of them. And then these are rip, uh, ripper bugs. They're um, a flying bug and they can shoot poison darts and stuff. They're from the cartoon, the Roughneck cartoon. And then over here, three plasma bugs. Now these are badass. They're really big. They take a lot of hits. But they do is they're like they can shoot indirectly artillery like giant bolts of plasma that drop down and kill everything or they can be used as anti-aircraft as, as fighters and dropships try to come in they can shoot plasma so those ones are in the movie too they would shoot plasma into space and hit the different ships and hit the roger young and all that stuff so you got more warriors just 
really cool, man, seeing all these scores of warriors running across. I made battle damage ones too. So this one's like shot up, gave him a gloss. Like he's always like his legs are like ripped up, but he's got bullet holes in them and stuff. So I did a couple of those just to change it up. These are the mind control bugs from the, the horrible direct to DVD Sarsha Troopers 2. So these can get in the site, burrow into the got troopers' heads and take control of them. In the cartoon, there was an infiltrator bug, a bug that would sneak, devour the insides of a trooper. And so this would just walk around the table and then when it wants to, it explodes. And this infiltrator bug would come running out. So a really cool model, man, something very different. But um, that was the, the gimmick for him, but that was in the cartoon. They saw these walking up to the perimeter and then that bug would jump out and attack. Also too in the cartoon, they had these things called fire fries. They made these, these were like little flamethrower bugs. Then you had blister bugs, these would spray acid too. You can see they're on the, the warrior bug body. So then more warriors, more warriors, so many warriors. And then tiger warriors. They actually made models for tiger warriors that are really nasty, more aggressive warrior bugs. So, but I didn't really like the metal miniatures, so I just re, just repainted a bunch of warriors yellow to give them that tiger stripe look. And then this, you could just see. And then there's a <clears throat> infiltrator bug mantis bug or something. Same thing. That wasn't a great model either, so I actually can. Uh, kit bashed it with a warrior, but it's got that praying mantis look. Just a random hunter killer kind of bug. So, just tons of bugs, man. So, really cool. I got some rock. I also have like some sci fi terrain. I don't know if it's set up, but um, to do different bases and stuff like that in the desert. You can do a whole Planet P or a Clendathu battle. So, just really cool. A lot of plastic. So, Excited to get these back to the table and play again. Definitely do a battle report on the channel. So, and then last but not least, this army had like a lot of models, but it was kind of at the end of the the production run. So, the skinnies. So, I had a couple boxes. I put them together. They're plastic too. They also had visors, but it actually took a lot of detail off of them. So, I just left them off. And then the the, the group of skinnies I ran, their leader rides a like a dinosaur thing so i don't remember where that's from or they just made it up but yeah i got some skinny raiders they're they were pretty cool they had, their guns are pretty nasty and stuff but but the main course is definitely the mobile infantry really cool so it's pretty awesome seeing this collection laid out so i'm glad i didn't get rid of it there was a couple times where i'm like ah, i'm not really playing it but i'm just too huge of a starship trooper fan to let it go so You can see this one. This one's roaring at the sky. <laughs> so cool, man. Some of them I use like their arms. I use extra legs to give them like the long arms and stuff. So the warriors are kind of based on the cartoon version. So it's just a little different, but pretty cool, man. That color scheme, that's like just awesome. So just wanted to do a quick thing on some of the books and uh, stuff, but this is the starter set that came out. Really freaking cool, man. I think I ended up having like four or five of these because it came with a bunch of stuff in it, but really cool. Dig the, the artwork. It's got the, uh, the mobile infantry troopers from the cartoon on the cover. Just ultimate battle for the fate of a race. So you can see the back. Got the quick start guide. So it came with 16 highly trained mobile infantry troopers and, 20 warriors so you the book join the fight really cool man so cool this is andy chambers man you know necromunda battlefleet gothic so good man let me just pull this up and see what's in there so inside here we got the quick reference got some oh the sauce trooper video computer game you can see the sprues of warrior bugs these are definitely getting built that's another 20 more bugs see so each sprue had two bugs on it you got the abdomen abdomen a bunch of legs the jaws and the, <clears throat> and the bases and then you got all the weapons you got more rita rifles flamethrowers grenade launchers they have javelins like these guys could shoot nukes and blow up corners of the table 
it's crazy though you look at like the design like see it's kind of got a lot of wasted space on it it's pretty funny got two legs <laughs> and some arms some heads but really cool man nice little box set and then you got some you got tokens and stuff in here so what do we got we got we got a little base i actually built it in iraq it's pretty funny out of ammo these guys during the reaction guys could run out of ammo got the different the fighters and stuff that'd be actually kind of cool to get those tunnel entrances you got the tunnel markers ready markers because guys could you know ready up got the flamethrower it's pretty cool man so there's the viking dropship that's from the movie and then the slingshot that's from the cartoon ready oh you could call them missiles missiles down on stuff and then you got explosions you got bug central which is like a really big bug hole regular tunnel entrance and the tunnel markers i love how the game did the tunnels really cool pretty much it was a marker and you would have the bugs on you know what bugs are in the marker so you have like 20 warriors like tunneling underneath and then wherever they popped up they popped up but if you attacked the, the marker you could actually um, bury them so really cool man so I'll show, you, I'll show you some more get all this stuff out of the way got this actually let me get these over the way all right so then here's some of the uh the you know, chaz suit i actually have two of these painted up really cool he was a cool character as a robot that accompanied them and ended up sacrificing himself in the roughneck cartoon but he's just full of weapons pretty cool and they came out exosuits these are kind of like the ones from the the book they had these i think were cougar suits and then they made grizzly suits which are pretty awesome so this is what they look without weapons on they have all different weapons that would strap onto them you know and you got more blister bugs this is the grizzly exosuits pretty awesome and then these are the cougar these are like the lighter ones so these are all metal pretty awesome older than dirt he's like almost 20 years old so here's the hardback rule book really cool contents road to victory join the fight so there's some cool artwork in here it's really cool the way the bugs work alert status anybody within 10 inches yep 10 inches you get to react basic rules the, Try, you know how to deal with the different bugs really cool so a warrior bug is 15 points a trooper is 30 bugs move six inches trooper moves four say so close combat dice yeah so everything had a target so you rolled whatever dice so like a warrior bug could roll a d10 for its jaw and if you get four plus or higher on the 10 side dice he takes a wound, and he's got a save throw. There's a chance for the trooper on a 4-plus to save. But if you get over 7, he's dead outright. So, really cool, man. So, like, one dice roll. You weren't rolling to wound to hit wound. It was pretty much <clears throat> you roll one set of dice, and whatever it came out to be got your value if you killed him or not. And if there was a chance he might survive, he might survive. So, kind of, kind of fast. You pick zones, too, where you would do your damage and stuff. So, you get the gallery. The... So, really cool. Very nostalgic. You know, everything. You know, the miniatures are way different than they were, what, 19 years ago? So, unfortunately, this it all went away. But I definitely love that they did attempt it. <clears throat> so, then you got the Army, Mobile Infantry Army book, and this came out and had all the stats to do different different troopers you got the exosuit platoon the marauder platoons really cool man mobile infantry power suit that's what they were called power suit platoon different different stuff that's cool pictures a thorny tanker they had some they made some stuff up they had giant spiders from the cartoon all different stuff the wasp suits standard bearer or javelins you know flags and stuff pretty cool and then the roughneck book this is um the power armor guys so you could have all the characters from the 
from the from the cartoon show. Then you had the Pathfinders. These guys were pretty badass. These guys were like special forces dudes. They all had um, tri lens like splinter cell goggles, and they had their own special rules. They were like these Delta Force reconnaissance mobile infantry troopers. Really cool. It was cool too because you could buy the abilities to. So, like, different stuff you could add. Chem grenades, Falcon missiles. You get, get fleet assets. Really, Pathfinder platoon. Pathfinder armory. Really cool, man. So many cool weapons. Marita carbine. Marita sniper rifle. Grenade launcher. Flechette grenade. Bug shot grenade. Falcon AA. Firecrack. Um, Re Reaver heat missiles. Chem grenades. Plat. They gave you... You just buy all this crap to outfit your guys. You get the... And you got the modeling and painting guide. That's like how to paint. Paint stars, how to paint marauders, and all types of stuff. Bugs. Really cool. And you got the skinny army book. And this had all different stuff for the skinny army. This is kind of like the last army they did. Pretty wild. A lot of, some of the models they never even came out with. But they kind of like just went away, went into it and did a bunch of crazy stuff. You got the Arachnid Army book. Now, this was cool. All the stuff about the, the different bugs. I actually had that, the Overseer bug. It was pretty wild. Did a lot of, there's your uh, Infiltrator bug, that one that jumps out of the body armor that hides. Control bugs, fire fries. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Blister bugs. How to make bug holes. So, really cool, man. Different planets. Got the role playing. This was actually like an adventure. Yeah, the role playing game was put out by Mongoose. They had a whole, whole thing. Here's the rule book that came out. I had it spiral bound. Just a little different than the, the hardcover. This book was awesome. So this is Clandath Invasion. Really cool. Has the stats to do light infantry. So really cool. So in this one, there's a campaign of like five or six missions. Light armored platoon. So this is the guys from the, the movie. So what you would do is you'd get 6,000 points. And the mobile infantry player would keep track of all the casualties and play all the missions. So you would be losing tons and tons of guys. And the bugs always replenished. So at the end, it would say if you had a if you were defeated or if you had a minor victory or a major victory, but really fucking cool, man. Really dug this. And then this was the Sarge Trooper role playing game. So this was Mongoose too, and um, never got to play it, but it's got so much awesome stuff in it. Really cool is I actually had this in my soul pack in a, in a sh nasty shootout in Iraq. So I actually wrote in here November fourth was reading this book. <laughs> Made contact twice. Three enemy KIA, two wounded in action. Yeah, it was a crazy gun battle. But I had this book in my uh, my assault pack just in case I got bored <laughs> when I was out in the middle of the city humping around. But, but this really was cool. It had some really cool artwork and stuff in here. The history was pretty wild. <clears throat> they were talking about... They had these little different bugs and creatures. Hoppers and brain bugs and blister bugs. But it was cool then. They had psychic so psychics. They would put the government would put psychics on different planets to make sure that there was no like terrorists gonna attack and stuff. So, like so control the government could control itself. Pretty wild. So and the cool artwork, but just a lot of cool stuff, man. So I think this was based on the the third edition Dungeon and Dragon system. I don't even remember. Yeah, yeah difficulty dc classes but it had everything so let me see i don't even game masters the skinnies the bugs uh, there was something uh, let me see if i can find the uh the class they have psychics star systems garage they have the different armor striker armor they have light armor power suit one of the weapons really freaking cool. So, I wonder if anybody anybody in the comments you still have your Star Trek Trooper stuff. Let me know, man. Love to hear. It's got to be a rarity. Usually, you see the stuff's like in the 
on eBay for 20 bucks here and there and stuff. Different skills. Okay, oh yeah, see that's, I love this stuff. So you got the veteran. Let's see that. So the veteran, you got different classes. You got the sniper. It's really cool. Cool artwork. An officer there. Officer Cadet. You got a Neo Dog Handler. Really cool. That's cool artwork, man. That's a nice job. Got the Marauder Suit Pilot. The Marauder Driver, I mean. It's badass. Beautiful art. That's the medic. The artwork I was telling you about. That's uh, pretty freaking gnarly. That dude's dead, man. But that's what I modeled that objective off of. So. That's cool. That's the Chaz suit. Pretty field medic. Yep, that was a class. An engineer. Comms technician. That's pretty cool. Mobile guy. He's got the triple thud grenade launcher. That's pretty awesome. Just a mobile infantry trooper. So, so that's it, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed. So I will definitely be back with more Starship Trooper content. Really freaking cool. So hope you enjoyed it. A lot of cool stuff. Everybody, happy gaming and like and subscribe.